Are you part of a civil society organization or a scientist interested in social research? Let us introduce you to COACT. COACT stands for Co-Designing Citizen Social Science for Collective Action. It's a three-year social research project proposing a new understanding of citizen social science, meaning that citizen groups sharing a social concern are recognized as experts in the field and act as co-researchers together with university scientists, public administrators, and civil society organizations. COACT is formed by universities, civil society organizations, and global networks from Spain, Germany, Austria, the United Kingdom, and Argentina. For COACT as a project, citizen social science is participatory research co-designed and directly driven by citizen groups sharing a social concern. And it has a research and innovation cycle of five steps. The research and innovation preparation with citizen groups, configuration, knowledge, coalition, creation and curation, as well as research preparation. The research co-design, where research questions and innovation challenges shape best methodologies and practices to use. The actual research conduction, always with a collective and open research approach. The pool data analysis, including interpreting it and building a narrative around the result, leads to data and science literacy and the result of a public presentation in a friendly and visualized format. The final step is to transform results into actions, improving measures, science and policies while increasing the sense of ownership, resulting in evidence-informed reactions to promote social change. The research process and the results are jointly evaluated in a participatory way. Co-evaluation helps to build socially robust knowledge. Furthermore, the following seven crucial aspects form part of the citizen social science. It puts citizens and their actual social concerns in the center of the research. It is transdisciplinary, co-designed, co-created by the citizens who are engaged in all phases of the research. It applies a wide variety of participatory, qualitative and quantitative ways of engaging in all phases of the research. It involves social science theories to analyze and conceptualize the social dimension regarding power relations, structural inequalities and emancipatory capacities. It aims for a high degree of evidence-based, meaningful research results. It aims for social impact towards initiating sustainable social change. It aims to contribute to the democratization of scientific knowledge. Around these concepts, COACT could implement four transformative research and innovation actions in mental health care, youth employment, environmental justice, and gender equality. Let's get to know them better now. In Barcelona, COACT's transformative action in mental health care. The research goals were to promote collective, evidence-based actions to strengthen social support networks in mental health, create a better understanding of mental health social support networks, and expand computational social science with novel data gathering and analyzing with a chatbot. As proclaimed by the World Health Organization, health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, and not just the absence of disease. Social support networks are essential for mental health recovery and achieving well-being and satisfying life depends on one's ability to establish harmonious relationships and active, constructive participation in the community. In the research preparation, a knowledge coalition was created and 65 people representing 50 organizations participated in a horizontal e-collaborative space. And during many meetings, participants could learn more about the project, define a social support network, and identify objectives collaboratively. During this co-design research phase, 32 individuals plus a facilitator, a writer, and illustrator worked together in the chatbot during workshops and testing sessions. The chatbot for mental health care is a chatbot for the Telegram message app that now holds more than 200 micro stories in four languages. Its content is also language sensitive, inclusive and non-discriminatory. The scientific results are collectively interpreted. After collective deliberation, they are transformed into policy briefs and collective actions. In Vienna, 
Kerr Act's action focused on youth employment. In 2016, a new law was passed by the Austrian government, introducing the Education and Training Obligation Act. It regulates the obligation to take part in education or training up to the age of 18 years old. Kerr Act's action goals were the adjustment of educational measures based on young people's perspectives and the development of new ideas and approaches towards education and training. The research approach included various activities, research project weeks with young co-researchers, the building of a knowledge coalition, the collaboration with social workers and trainers in employment measures, or the organization of roundtables, which brought together young people and policymakers to discuss the outcomes of the co-research. Up to now, there are 73 Knowledge Coalition members, representing over 30 organizations. Altogether, 180 young people took part in the co-research activities. In the participatory research, the young co-researchers focused on three main challenges regarding education and employment. Mental health issues as a challenge in education and the work environment, racism and discrimination as exclusionary factors within the labour market and education, as well as barriers experienced by young people when trying to continue education or work. The young co-researchers shared their experiences with these challenges, collected and analysed new data and developed demands for policymakers responsible for education and employment measures in Austria. In the course of the co-research process, two new tools have been developed with the aim of making social research experiential to young people in a more accessible way. One is the Action Bound, Action Research on Education and Employment a digital resource for young people to research social science by themselves. In the app, young people are guided through a social science research process, meaning finding a topic related to education and training, researching the topic, uploading a mind map, finding research questions, choosing between interview or photo voice as a research method, analyzing data using analytical questions, and identifying the necessary actions. The second tool is a board game that allows young people to learn about and experience social research through the game. It incorporates aspects of social science research, such as collecting data and coding, and introduces information and research results concerning education and employment. The results of the joint research were documented through graphic recordings to ensure an easily understandable and accessible communication of the topics and demands of the young people. One co-research group decided to research the challenges that young people encountered during the COVID-19 pandemic when looking for education and employment. The outcomes were policy suggestions made by the young people, including support and money for companies so that they can reopen, hire and pay apprentices, no further lockdowns but instead more corona tests, and treat all young people equally, no matter where they come from and what language they speak. Achievements include a growing network of active and diverse knowledge coalitions, the inclusive digital toolbox and dozens of online and offline activities with youth co-researchers. The following action in COACT's consortium took place in Buenos Aires, Argentina. The action aims at promoting citizen social science tools to advance transformative actions for environmental justice in the Matanza Riachuelo Basin. The action aims at promoting citizen social science tools to advance transformative actions for environmental justice in the Matanza Riachuelo Basin. The Matanza Riachuelo River runs through 54 kilometers along the 14 municipalities of the Buenos Aires provinces and in the Buenos Aires Autonomous City's South Metropolitan Area. 12% of the Argentinian population live in the jurisdictions that are included in this basin. Matanza Riachuelo is the most populated river in Argentina and has a long history of adverse environmental impacts. The basin is affected by various socio-economic and environmental problems, housing deficits, water and air contamination, and a lack of green areas, among others. At the governance level, there is an inter-jurisdictional problem due to local, provincial, 
and national government's ability to intervene in sanitation policies. Moreover, limited citizen participation in the Integral Plan for Environmental Sanitation, together with communities living in highly polluted areas, demonstrates that environmental justice is not guaranteed. Even worse, these communities were heavily affected by COVID-19, resulting in lockdown, solid restrictions, economic hindrances, and high infection rates. During the Knowledge Coalition building phase, COACT's team in Buenos Aires conducted 21 interviews, three micro-workshops with community members, and a research co-designed workshop with 22 participants. In total, 51 people from 30 organizations participated in this phase. COACT researchers and the Knowledge Coalition agreed upon the main themes to approach, resettlements or urbanization of high environmental risk areas, surface water quality, and riverside native vegetation conservation. Furthermore, reviewing primary sources of public data on those themes support defining the purpose of creating a digital platform. The platform would facilitate public data visualization while inviting everyone to share their experience on the themes. The next step was to co-design the platform. This was organized in 15 workshops, nine online and four on-site, using participatory methodologies inspired by human-centered design approaches. The COACT team recognized previous activities done by social organizations in the basin, supporting them in enhancing their work. The goal was to create synergies between existing networks and the researchers. Several workshops were co-organized with local organizations, community libraries, and neighbor associations. These organizations are hubs to engage actors inside the territory further, disseminating citizen social science tools to contribute towards sustainability. The platform is now online, providing publicly sourced and citizen-driven data on water quality, conservation of natural areas, resettlement and urbanization, shared in different formats such as texts, images, and quizzes co-designed between community actors and researchers. In the action phase, COACT's team in Buenos Aires organized several activities with 20 policymakers to further identify challenges and opportunities to include citizen-driven knowledge in environmental justice policy development. To engage civil society in the citizen social science movement by providing an opportunity for civic organizations to adopt best practices and create their research, COACT launched three gender-focused open calls in Berlin, Eastern Europe and the EU respectively. The selected applicants were mentored for 10 months to produce scientific, evidence-informed outcomes. The selected organizations co-developed studies about opportunities and risks of digitalization, trans and non-binary people's access to the labor market and their quality of life, and decent work and economic growth. The studies have a baseline perspective on the gender equality. Gender as a category of difference still structures our daily lives to a large extent. It permeates societal spheres from the spaces we live into the areas we work and digital spaces online. For instance, while women in the EU earn over 16% less an hour on average than men, this figure becomes more extreme in Eastern European countries. Digital spaces are equally gendered, with gender norms exacerbated online to the detriment of specifically young women, whose experiences of online harassment have far-reaching effects on their online engagement. What that means, on a concrete level, for the lived experiences of affected people and mitigating this inequality in community approaches is the focus of this very action. As coax Many achievements reflect in its numbers. Up to now, the website has more than 30,000 visitors. It is around 1,600 visits in a month. Coact social media channels have more than 200 posts, reaching 130,000 people. Coact has been presented in dozens of international, regional, national and local events, webinars, online hangouts, with over 30 presentations and in total around 25,000 people as an audience. Coact's newspaper articles and partners' newsletters and blogs reached more than 50,000 people. Moreover, Coact's project wrote 11 scientific publications with two articles 
published in international journals, and five articles selected for the book, The Science of Citizen Science. All these publications had more than 37,000 views or downloads. Considering all the dissemination channels, Correct Ideas and Practices reached more than 315,000 people. And now that is a lot of new potential citizen social scientists. But the most important thing is that COACT is building a global community of practice in citizen social science, both online and offline. Would you like to know more? Visit COACT's website at https semicolon double forward slash coactproject.eu and take part in the journey yourself and become a citizen social scientist. The COACT project has received funding from the European Union's Horizon 2020 Research and Innovation Program under a grant agreement number 873048.